So, let's do a uke video, shall we? Yeah! Alright, you know we have ukes. It's coming up on Christmas time. If you've got guitar players at home and you're thinking like, what could I get that guy, dad or whatever? Ukuleles, these are fun. We get these uh, fleas and flukes of the fluke company. This is a flea and this is probably the best uke you can buy. You might start with a kid on a cheap Chinese uke, but if you've got somebody that wants to play a real musical instrument, I would suggest these because they're durable, the tuners are adjustable, they're, they're tension tightened, and they really, they sound fantastic. If you're a guitar player, you know this of course, but, but your regular chords are uke chords, so you're going to play this same top four strings on a guitar, on a ukulele, and you're going to make music. Plus, it's kind of simple if somebody's never played anything before. See that? See what I did there? Yeah. So, these are cool, plus they stand up. Now, for those of you that want to get into it, I just got this in. This is a 30s Martin ukulele. Now, Martin made the O without any um, binding on it, and they made the style one. And the style one has this little wooden binding on it. It's fairly simple. The style two had fancier binding, but this one with its friction pegs and they push in, um, they're not tension pegs, they're friction pegs. Uh, logo on the back, so we know that was made before 1937. Bar frets, so we know that's 30s. Martin was saved from the Great Depression by their ukuleles, and uh, they made a lot of them. There's a delicacy to ukulele that sometimes a microphone can't pick up. It's you and the ukulele sitting there down by the beach on the living room floor with you and 60 of your friends all playing your favorite Beatles songs. This one, by the way, has no case, but it's only $475. You can see it's got a lot of pick wear. It's a really cool ukulele and an American classic. What other 30s Martin can you buy for so little? There's also Kamaka. We carry Kamakas. In the world of ukuleles, Kamaka, made in Hawaii, is really the end of the line. They get their wood, koa wood, from Hawaii. Koa only grows in the Hawaiian island chain. Um, so this is all made of koa. The neck is mahogany. The body is koa. And these are tap-tuned, fantastically made lacquer finishes. There's always something a little funky about ukuleles. There's something slightly imperfect about the ukulele that gives it its charm. This is a thing you can take with you anywhere. They travel in the airline overhead. They travel with you anywhere. You can put it into a backpack, and these kamakas are high-end. So here's an example of a kamaki, HF1 kamaka and it is about a thousand bucks. Comes with a nice case, all right? So, now that we've got all that sales out of the way, oh, one other thing, stay there. Our friend Finn made this. The guy's a brilliant violin maker. You guys have seen the video. Look up Finn mandolins. Another thing we would sell you is a mandolin, but for now, let's talk about ukuleles. This is made by Finn. I didn't tune it, but uh, it is made of old wood, hand-stained, old world craftsmanship. He inlays all this, and again, remember what I said about the crudeness of ukulele. Finn is a genius, and with old wood and everything is handmade, and he's kind of our local buddy, and he's got some health problems, so we're looking after him. Buy a Finn ukulele. I know, I know. I'm getting to it. $3.95. All solid wood, made just recently. All right, now, for you uke nerds, this is a style three. Why am I whispering? I don't know. So you see the little detail down there and the way it's triple bound down the center of the fingerboard, the diamond inlays, the ebony board, the bone saddle, the multiple layers of binding, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven layers of binding, nine layers of binding around the sound hole. That little delicate added feature, and high quality woods, beautiful tone, oh yeah.
Sorry. All right, so there's that. One other thing I got to show you, and this is very, very rare, a 5K. We did a video recently about a Style 45. This is the 45 of the ukulele world. There's only about 700 of these in the world. This is interesting because it's got some cross grain. Again, koa wood only grows in the Hawaiian island chain. These days, you can only get koa, that's wind fallen timber. It is precious. Logo on the back of the headstock. This is a 30s 5K and just a magnificent instrument, bound fingerboard. Go home and try that at home, binding a tiny fingerboard like this. It's just, this is a fantastic ukulele. And it's not in tune. See, that's half the fun in going home and tuning it up. Headstock detail, we're gonna linger on this a little bit and close up this video with that. Ooh, ah, ooh.